A little while ago on Twitter, I stumbled upon a tweet talking about a game called Capybara Spa. The cute looking graphics and premise got me interested, so I went on Steam and bought it for 8 USD. And now that I've played it, let's see what this game has to offer. Capybara seems to have gotten a lot more love as of late, and it's not hard to see why. They're the largest living rodent on Earth, and can weigh over 100 pounds. However, they're also very calm and docile, and get along well with humans and other animals. Their popularity can also be attributed to videos of capybaras at Japanese zoos taking hot baths with mandarin oranges, which is where the inspiration for Capybara Spa came from. The game is a simple management simulator about building a mountain spa for the capybaras that wander there. You clear out land so that you can place bathing facilities and other amenities. Then you pick up one of the dirty capybaras walking along the bottom of the screen and place them in an available bath. They look mildly pissed whenever they're picked up, but I guess I would feel the same if I was suddenly lifted from where I was. Luckily, they're quite happy and content once they're in a bath. They'll also request snacks and other goodies, which will earn you money and experience to expand and improve your spa. As you gain more experience, you'll also have baby capybaras and other critters such as ducks come to visit, which you can place with your capybara as a bath buddy. More experience will also unlock different kinds of baths, including a mud bath that somehow makes the dirty capybaras cleaner. You can also unlock friendly insects like butterflies to help you serve the capybaras when your spa starts to grow. This game is oozing in cuteness, and the graphics are a big part of that cuteness appeal. The scenery is very colorful, and the animations have some pretty cute details, such as how animals will parachute down to the ground when you drop them, and how baby capybaras and other animals will hit to ride on an adult capybara when they're done with their baths. It's pretty hard to be in a bad mood when you play with how much adorable charm there is. The gameplay is very simple, and there's not really any challenge to it. It's just a game where you can relax by taking care of capybaras while happy music plays. You can progress at your own pace, and the game doesn't even have a pause function because there are no negative consequences for anything you do. While this isn't the kind of game that will put your bandsman skills to the test, it is a very cute unwinding kind of game that's easy to sink a lot of time into.